guys, this is episode two of Bantu Swamping My Riding Mower. And I kind of explained it in part one. But basically, the plan is just to make this thing legit. At this point in the build, it's pretty straightforward. Just got to hook up the drive shaft, the chains, and the jack shaft. And then we should be ripping. So I'm also going to be doing pipes and some performance mods, actually. So stay tuned. But let's go ahead and get right into the video. So I'm going to need to work on the bottom structure and just reinforce everything, triangulate it. So the engine is always going to want to pull up on this like that. So that's why I need to make this section extra strong. Also for jumps and whatnot. So let's get to it. So check this out guys, I got some mower merch made and I'm pretty stoked with how it turned out. So I decided to keep the triple, the three air filters on there just in memory of the triple because that was really epic and no one's ever done that before. So this shirt is honestly good to wear in public, it's good to work out in anything, you can work in it, it's a good conversation starter. So check out the first link in the description if you want to support the channel, support my future builds, and all that good stuff. I have these available in several different colors. So yeah, that's the first link in the description. Check it out. Alright guys, check that out. I think that looks really beautiful. Turn out amazing. It's going to really stiffen up this chassis. See, I couldn't do this before with the CVT because everything was just in the way. The next thing I'm going to work on is figuring out the steering. Before it was in the front. We're actually going to move it to the back right here. That's going to fix our awful steering geometry. It's going to be pretty challenging to actually mount it in there, but uh, we'll give it a shot. So I'm going to go ahead and flip these spindles around like this. And just like that, I got them flipped over. Now we're going to go ahead and pull this engine and try to mount our steering rack up under there. Just like that, the motor is out. So guys, I got this rack and pinion mounted. This jack shaft being here is making it really hard to mount, but I think we got it figured out for the most part. So ideally, you want your steering arms to be pretty much like this. This is pretty much what I was able to come up with. I can't scoot this rack any far forward, otherwise it will interfere with the sprocket or the drive shaft right there. Despite the fact, I think this should be a lot better than the previous steering setup, just because, you know, this whole diff was in the way. So, yeah. Well guys, while I wait on the steering components, I decided I'm gonna try to mount up these pipes. So, this luckily won't be as hard as the triple pipes, not gonna take that much cuts.
Right guys, not even an hour in, we already figured out the pipes. All we have to do now is just clean them up and weld them. Uh, I do like the placement of that. The snowmobile pipes actually took me two to three days to get them to this stage. So this is about as subtle as it gets. They're going to be painted black and no one's hardly going to notice them from this side, that is. Wow guys, the pipes really turned out amazing. So now we're gonna be pulling the engine off and installing this before we get onto the steering. I'll explain why in a minute. Wow guys, look at this piece of beautiful billet aluminum. This is gonna be the side cover, the clutch cover. It's actually larger and that's to fit this. So this is a lockup clutch and it's used mostly in high power applications. But a lot of guys use it for trail riding too. These fingers just fly out and they put extra pressure on the clutch. The reason why I bought this thing is because I need to figure out how much room I have for steering because this is going to take up a whole lot more space. So I guess let's get to installing this clutch cover. There's that stock clutch cover and here's the new one. As you can see it's like two inches uh, wider. So yeah, let's go ahead and pull the motor yet again. Wow guys, this thing is clean.
Well guys, the Banshee powered mower is about done. There's literally going to be one or two more episodes before this thing drives. It's moving so fast. And guys, this thing is going to be miles better than the old setup. That being said guys, go ahead and support this channel. Show some love and cop some merch. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button. And consider subscribing if you're new. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay tuned. Peace and God bless.